How to Snowboard Steep Slopes While riding on steep slopes, most snowboarders have difficulty managing their speed as well as their turn shape and size. How can we solve this problem? Okay, let's begin. Step 1. Flat Ground On steep slopes, we don't want to make wide turns because it will make it harder to control the board. It's because our board will be pointing downhill longer than it would for short radius turns. Therefore, we should finish our turns as quick as possible before the snowboard gets too much speed. But, how can we turn our board quicker on steeper slopes? There are two technical components that we can bind on your board movement when we make turns. Number one, rotational movement, and number two, tilting movement. This time, we will focus on the rotational movement to make quicker turns. Stand as if you are riding on steeper slopes. You can jump and spin your body 180 degrees with quick upper body rotation. Visualize riding on steeper slopes. Keep your eyes looking toward the nose of your board. Try pulling your back arm behind you to spin your body quicker into the direction of the toe side turns. To spin your body into the direction of the heel side turns, try pulling your front arm behind you. Please remember that swinging your arms is just to help rotate your hips. Once your hips get enough spin force, your hips will lead your body into the spinning direction since it's in the middle of your body. Therefore, you can turn your board with strong spinning force with this method. Starting a toe side turn is harder than a heel side turn on steeper slopes, so pulling your back arm behind you faster will be helpful at this stage. This method is good for groomed terrain, however, when riding on moguls or in trees, for example, this method may be better to start and finish turns even quicker. This time, you directly rotate your hips in the direction of a turn, but you don't rotate your gaze or shoulders. This way to turn your board is similar to a technique called counter-rotation. However, this technique is different because you want to keep your shoulders straight on purpose. With an upper body rotation, there will be a slight time delay in your turn because your lower body has to follow your upper body's rotation. If you keep your shoulders straight, your lower body allows you to turn quicker. Because you generate a turn by rotating your hips, and your hips are closer to the board than your upper body. You should remember to rotate your hips strong enough as your board becomes perpendicular to the hill. Because you will have limited body inclination when turning, these two methods are closer to spinning and skidding your board rather than changing the direction of your board. We will talk about that more in the next step. If you rotate your upper body to the right and your lower body to the left, you will minimize the rotational angle of your board thanks to your upper body pulling your lower body backward. Keep your shoulders straight to the hill or rotate them in the same direction with your hips so that quick board rotation is possible on steep slopes. Please remember that you don't want counter rotation here. Next, we can learn something between these two methods you have learned so far. Therefore, you will have more options to manage your turns on steeper slopes. Rotate your shoulders and hips in the turning direction by pushing and pulling back your arm. And keep your front arm pointing forward. Try to minimize your upper body rotation, because if you rotate your body too far, your board will spin and skid too much. Okay, we learned three methods for quick turning on steep slopes. Number one upper body rotation with hips. Number two, lower body rotation with shoulders straight to the direction. And number three, upper body rotation with your front arm pointing forward. You can try all methods and find out which method works best on which slopes. If these methods didn't work for you, please check if your standing position while riding is not leaning or bending. You can refer to our tutorial, How to Check Stance and Balance on a Snowboard, 5 Rules, 1, on this channel, and check your standing position again. 
Step 2. On the slope. We learned how to rotate our board quicker on flat ground in step 1. These exercises work if your body axis is standing straight to the ground. The more our body leans and bends, the heavier we are, thus turning on steep slopes will be harder. Since this is the common issue for snowboarders when turning on steeper slopes, you should learn to ride with your body not bending and standing perpendicular to the slopes in advance. You can watch another tutorial for riding steeper slopes on this channel to learn how to fix it. Methods that we have learned in step 1 are effective for reducing that moment that your board is pointing downhill, thus reducing the board's chance to accelerate. Now, let's try all three techniques that we learned in step 1 on the slopes. Number 1. Upper body rotation with hips. Number 2. Lower body rotation with shoulders straight to the direction. And number 3. Upper body rotation with your front arm pointing forward. Before trying method 1 on the slope, start by spinning 180 degrees on the slope so that you have a strong body rotation in advance. Spinning from the toe edge to the heel edge is easier because you can pop your toes. If you are struggling with spinning from the heel edge to the toe edge, try pulling your back elbow behind you strong and fast. The key point here is rotating your hips 180 degrees. If you rotate just your shoulders and don't get much rotation on your hips on steep slopes, you will get too much acceleration and you won't finish your turn properly. Now, try to rotate your lower body and board without jumping but with a jumping motion. Please remember that this is not spinning but rather turning on the steep slopes. Thus, you want to keep your gaze pointing toward the nose and be ready to go across the hill after finishing the turn. If you want to change the direction and move to the side of the slope between each turn, watch the next video, Step 3. If it's still not easy to do on steep slopes, try this method on more intermediate slopes. Next, you should try spinning your board 180 degrees while your shoulders and arms are straight to the hill. Once again, you should remember to rotate your hips strong enough as your board becomes perpendicular to the hill. Since this method is slightly different from a counter rotation, you don't actually want to rotate your upper body even a little. Keep your shoulders straight to the hill, and your gaze pointing downhill so that you can keep stable while riding. Now, try to rotate your lower body and board without jumping but with jumping motion. You might not get much chance to use this method on the steep slopes, but there will be more chances to try this while riding on moguls and in trees. Next, you can try starting turns with upper body rotation but while your front arm is pointing downhill. Try to pull your back arm behind you to turn your body from the heel side to the toe side. If you keep your front arm pointing forward, your rotation will be slightly restricted just like you feel when doing a counter rotation. However, you can start your next turn quicker. This way to make a turn might be the best method for you when you ride on steeper and narrower slopes because you can start turns quicker and rotate your hips with stronger rotational force. Therefore, you can link quick turns and manage your speed on steep slopes as your board will be perpendicular to the hill after every single turn. Since we are focusing on rotating our body to manage our riding on steep slopes, it will look more like spinning rather than turning. In the next step, we will learn how to draw a turn arc on steep slopes. Please leave a comment below to let us know which method in this video you would like to try. Feel free to share your experience after trying these methods so people can learn from you too. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and feel free to leave your comments below. Watch all our tutorials by subscribing to the online training program from our website. Thanks for watching. Snowboard Dojo Wiz, your snowboard coach from Canada.